uh, in the time in which she lived, it was considered to be a great blessing for a woman to bear a child, especially a male child. Uh, if, if a woman could not bear children, it was thought that there was a curse upon her. And due to the fact that Rachel was unable to conceive, many believed that she was out of the favor of God. And can you imagine how painful it was for her to go to baby showers for other mothers and, and then be viewed as a woman who did not possess the favor of God? My brothers and sisters, regardless of what occurs in our life, uh, the one thing that you should never want to be categorized is uh, one who does not possess the favor of God. Uh, so Rachel could no longer. Y'all all right today? Yeah. Uh, you should talk back to me. So Rachel uh, could no longer take her present predicament. And as a result, she went to Jacob and told him, it's either now or never. Uh, it's a do or die situation. Give me children or I will die. She couldn't take it anymore. She could not take seeing other mothers with their children, and she didn't have any. She couldn't take seeing her sister Leah continue to have children, but yet she still had nothing. Have you ever been to the point when you were tired of seeing everyone else being blessed and everyone else coming up with their blessing? It seems like for the only one that never had your blessing to come. Uh, well, if you feel like you're in a do or die situation, I come to tell you, don't you die. If you feel like it's now or never, never say never because uh, God knows exactly where you are. Rachel refused to walk around with the cloud of this favor over her life. And people of God, whatever you've been going through, whatever you've been feeling, whatever you've been thinking, let me tell you, that your breakthrough just might be held up because you're not desperate enough. Yeah. You've got to come out of your state of comfortability and get desperate. You've got to get it in your mind that if I don't get my blessing now, there's a possibility that I'll never get it. I've got to do what I've got to do in order for God to bring me through. If we're going to reach our full potential, we can no longer put off for tomorrow what we can do today. We've got to get down to what they say or what they consider as the mini grid. Uh, and tell the Lord, I need a blessing from you. Is there anybody here that's not too laid back, not too cool, not too sophisticated, not too cute to say, Lord, I need a blessing. Does not matter what people around me are saying. This is my time. It's do or die. Desperation usually motivates us uh, to action. And sometimes it takes a disaster to reduce that desperation that will turn uh, into motivation for us to do or accomplish something. The late Reverend Billy Graham asked the world leader, he says, uh, what do you think it will take to bring America to her spiritual sense? Mm. The leader responded with a one-word reply, and that that, that reply uh, was disaster. If you take a look at the world that we live in today, without controversy, you will notice that there are a whole lot of disasters taking place in our society. Uh, if you would observe history and go back around a century and consider the stock market crash of 19. People lost fortunes overnight and jumped out of windows on Wall Street. Due to the depression, people did not have much food, but scarce and jobs were gone. Many had no means of buying gas for their cars, and they struggled to clothe and feed their children. Doesn't that sound like the times that we're in today? My brothers and sisters, we can no longer afford to do what we want to do. Obey God when we desire or need. 
Yeah, so this this COVID nineteen pandemic seems to have brought many closer to God. Uh, 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 and, and, and it seems like we've come closer to God for just a short span of time. Shortly after the pandemic hit, many people were asking for God to bless America. But people of God, let me tell you, it's time for America to bless God. So yet, uh, so we're yet faced with desperation. Is, and if there is no problem. It's past time for the church to get desperate. We gotta get desperate. 
desire of the people. Come here, blind, barbarous. 
He was on the side of the road dead. But he heard that the Lord was coming. And he says, Jesus, have mercy on me. Other people tried to quiet him down. But the more they tried to quiet him down, the louder he got. He needed a miracle. He said, don't tell me to hush. I'm the one that's mine.